Distinguished by its light-coloured spots, the West African giraffe once roamed in pockets across Nigeria, Chad, Cameroon and Benin. That is, until drought and hunting decimated their numbers. In 1996, with just 50 left in the wild, conservationists in Niger stepped in. By sharing tourist earnings between local authorities and wildlife teams, they were able to stabilise, then grow the population. They are the kind of animals that attract a lot of tourists. Tourist receipts are distributed so that local authorities get their share of the money, 50% for local authorities, 20% for the treasury, and 30% for the management of wildlife. 310 animals are now recorded living in the wild. As many as 26 females were pregnant late last year. Local people were also engaged through education programs. For the good of the giraffe, we tell children not to touch the trees because it is their food. Giraffe graze peacefully. Nobody disturbs them because they are of great benefit to us. Tourist earnings also help set up a micro-loan scheme, broadly regarded as a success. Thanks to the giraffe, the women in the village have been able to buy a flour mill. So if they didn't exist, we wouldn't have this micro-credit program. The group has now grown so big, authorities are considering relocating some of the animals to a protected park on Niger's border. They say they'll have more room to breed there, though they remain endangered for now at least. They've pulled the West African giraffe back from the brink. Tarek Vasley, Al Jazeera.